has been dropped off at the sitter. Now we are finally en route to go to Lightning in a Bottle. All right, y'all, we have landed at our spot. I already met someone else that's got like a one wheel and we're just taking this spot right here by this tree, so we're like in the sun. I was driving by and I saw this one van and I was like, that's a good idea. Got the levelers on here. It's gonna be our home for a few days here, so. So I am just gonna get myself kind of situated inside the van before I set stuff up outside. So the van is looking so much better right now. Uh, things are kind of put away and like I can actually like live in this space now and not crawl over things. I'm actually setting up my new camera right now, my GoPro Hero 11. Just turned it on for the first time. I'm really excited to vlog with this instead of my phone. It'll just be nice to have something that's not my phone to document um, everything and vlog on and have that uh, back screen and front screen. All right, so we've moved up a whole like two feet but what's good is we got the shade up front and then like the panels can still get sunlight during the day all right i'm gonna turn the fans off conserve some power the van is looking nice and clean i feel good it's livable um so got the little table set up now okay i'm gonna take my first one wheel ride go out and explore a little bit and just like see what this place looks like also, for those that are new here, my name's Travis. I travel full time with my golden retriever on a normal day. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Um, anyway, on with the festival, day one. We're kind of like day zero. <laughs> <laughs> when one wheels unite! Let's go! <laughs> Is that the GT or XR? Okay, that's, I think that's the one I got. Well, we're at LIB. This is definitely a vibe. Look at stage right now. I just realized it's like the, that's the main stage right there. So there's all this vibe. So this is, we're actually in the festival grounds now and just looking around at uh, all the different like structures and everything that's taking place all around like all at once and, and like built all this stuff up. And then you got the lake. And for those of you who are wondering what Lightning in a Bottle is, it was a music festival started in 2006 and has moved locations around the Central California area, ending up at Buena Vista Lake in Bakersfield. My festival hopping friend Maria calls it a cross between Coachella and Burning Man. And while I haven't attended either of these events, I could definitely feel what she meant after the first couple days here. All right.
right, this is the first test, the vlog test, trying out the GoPro Hero 11 right now. Got ready for the day. Got things pretty cleaned up in here. I'm trying to keep it nice so that we come home to a nice clean environment where I can edit or sleep or chill. I personally love that I'm not like cramped in the middle of a giant campground. So I like to have that um, exit route, if you will. So today is kind of like day one, a Thursday. Actually, yeah, I'm charging my one wheel right now. We have uh, met some of the neighbors around here. I'm just chilling a little bit. And now let's go um, on a little adventure. you came. <laughs> I made it. Yes. yes. Really is. Skills, y'all. What, what skills we bring it together? <laughs> what skills? What Podcast studio, TV studio, photography, photography studio. studio. That's all. Outside man needs to give us a Let's... studio on the road. Oh! Yeah, I am dreaming Woo! that Woo! Woo! It's Friday, day two. Definitely took my time getting up and catching up on some sleep. I turned in pretty early last night as well. Yeah, but I just definitely laid low the first couple days just to recoup for the actual weekend itself. Definitely staying hydrated, eating not crappy stuff. I might try like vendor food maybe once or twice, but it's really expensive here. And I have a fridge full of food, so I really don't need to do that extra cost. Coming here was already pretty pricey, so trying to conserve on the money stuff as well. Actually, they don't accept cash at all, so Apple Pay, I think. But then they have like these wristbands set up, uh, our, our festival wristbands, which I did not tighten onto my <laughs> wrist so I could take it off when I come back to the van if I want. I might go look for a hat. Uh, that's kind of a tradition I've randomly stumbled upon for myself is like at festivals, I'll at least take a look at the hats they have there because I always wear them. and. The ones that I've found that have been my favorite were from festivals, so, um, and they're like usually like a local artist, more local than just like ordering one off Amazon. Usually they have cool styles that you can't really find anywhere else. All right, so it is breakfast time slash brunch time. I'm gonna make some eggs. I love people watching from the band too. There's always like, seems like there's always stuff going on around and like stuff passing by. So it's just like constant entertainment. But today, I'm definitely gonna explore more than I have. It's, yeah, we got a little teaser yesterday. We got all weekend now. It's only Friday, Friday morning. All right, so here's where we're at with it. Kind of a naked breakfast burrito currently. I think we're good on salt. Definitely need some salsa or something. Doesn't look the craziest, but you know, it's functional. It'll do the job. And then of course, my beautiful coffee. So I'm gonna eat this breakfast slash brunch. I just uh, sent off a little bit of client stuff that I had to do. So uh, nothing really is going on yet. Only like kind of the yoga stuff and like the slower easing into the day stuff. I'll check in with you guys once we leave. All right guys, it's a little bit later. Uh, I got my Friday festive shirt on for the day. We're about to get out here. Adventure out to the festival for a minute. And check. But first, a tour of our camp. over here and this whole setup over here which I'm gonna go check out at some point let's go check out some vendors and see what this place looks like right now Zippers. Oh, so cool. 
that first one was pretty uh, pretty good contender, I would say. Kind of check out the rest of it, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, we are back in the van. Just had some dinner. I am now just having a little beverage before we go into the nightlife. One thing I love about having my van here, even though it's a little trek down, is that I can come nourish, take a break, and um, not spend on uh, food and drink out there because um, cocktails were like $14 and uh, food was even more maybe. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you some of what Lightning in a Bottle looks like uh, in the evening time. We're going to go enter another world now <laughs> and go check out Lightning in a Bottle Friday night. Let's go. In we go.
like seeing this place at night. It's just so incredible what it turns into, but it's still fun during the day, but like, man, the magic really happens when the night's out and all the lights are up, come on. And here they are. guys here's the final look I feel very good in this what's happening you're gonna look like a blanket <laughs> every time i come to naomi's van <laughs> it happens like i got my nails painted i got i'm here for it though that's my first <laughs> first break. ever that looks pretty funny. it's looking good. all right yeah, anytime I come up in Maria's rig, <laughs> it's like the transformation station, is what I would call it. That's what I'm gonna call it now. The transformation station. That's the long break. Transformation <laughs> station. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Look at this beautiful hair going Look at my on. Hair, Maria. And the blue eyeliner. You belong in our tribe now. We're warriors. We're good. going out tonight. Yeah, we're behind this. This is what happens when you go to Maria's house. Shit change. take on the festival comes down to the energy I felt as I cruised through the grounds, taking in all the sights, people, and art that filled the space. To me, it felt like a very safe place where freedom of expression and self-acceptance comes through. The vibes are contagious as you see all the dancing, cultures, and genuine joy on people's faces. It's a place where you can let your imagination and inner child run free. I felt free. All right, guys, yes, it is day four. It is the last day of lining in a bottle. As I have discovered, and as you've probably seen, nighttime is really when the magic happens here. It just is transforms at night. It, the whole space is beautiful at night. So that's my biggest takeaway from this festival, I would say, is like prepare yourself to be in night mode as much as possible so that you can really enjoy it because uh, the lights they put up. I'll put a picture right now. Here's the picture of what I took the other day over the lake and it kind of gives you somewhat of an idea of like the spectrum of the lights that are taking place here. And it's just like the creativity, the art, the people, the everything, the vibe. It is so amazing and unique. That's probably my favorite part. My biggest takeaway from this festival is like the overall experience at night. All right. So the second takeaway is if you are camping in Sunset Camp, which is where I am, or on the border of Sunset Camp and Group Camp, you're gonna wanna have a mode of transportation. Highly recommend a bike, or if you can swing it, a scooter or a one wheel, maybe a skateboard, I don't know. It's a whole, it's like three quarter mile to a mile distance. Uh, so if you have a mode of transportation, long story short, I will not leave my van without the one wheel now. I'm cruising around. I, if I'm trying to like party or something, I'll put it next to me, I'll keep it with me. It, every once in a while I'll have to lug it around, which not the greatest, but it's worth having for all the in-between, getting around inside the festival grounds, but especially outside, coming back to camp. I can get back here in like three, four, five minutes. You know what I mean? So I can come home in four or five minutes quick. You know, and it's a lot, it's, it's a little bit of a jaunt, like I said. So that's where we're at. Those are my takeaways. Day four, Sunday, and now it's time to go.
It has been several days since the festival. Got Sam picked up and reset a little bit. Uh, so it was a little bit of an investment to go, but uh, overall, definitely worth the experience. I had to, I met up with some people when I was there, but um, you know this was pretty much a good like solo experience for me to go out and do for myself. And uh, I want to encourage other people that um, you know have something that they want to do that they might be hesitant to do. Just know that like. It's okay to go alone and just be in your own space and the people that you meet along the way you'll appreciate so much more as well and it is so easy to meet other people out there as well so um, that was really refreshing to be surrounded by people that you know everyone's just in a good mood usually it was just like really easy to meet people and like um, you, you're just free you know to, to be however you want whenever you want you know so um, I was so happy to have my van with me and everything that I own so I mean that was a huge luxury I felt I had my home with me uh, I was able to come back and nourish I saved some money by not having to go out to eat I had everything I needed in that regard yeah it was nice having everything like with me because it wasn't like I had to shut my life down I could still actually do some work if I wanted to or just like edit the content just kind of be like in my own space like where I'm comfortable and so that was really valuable to have that to go back to and the, having the hydration pack was really important so I could always like um, have my water with me and be able to carry stuff so if you have like a little backpack that was really uh, valuable to have be able to carry around like stuff you didn't want to have in your pockets or whatever like sunglasses or something so I was able to bring like snacks with me I could bring like bananas or whatever um, totally allowed to do that too so if you want to save more money bring your own food and lastly the one wheel I was on that thing I want to say like 90% of the time <laughs> because it was such a long distance between and then around the festival I saw a lot of people zipping around inside the festival with them I don't I wouldn't go without it for sure um, so but the hardest thing about the festival and the whole experience the most challenging thing was leaving Sam and I just missed him and I knew that like you know we're not separated very often so when we do it's not easy to do and I just don't like to do that to him but it was totally worth it I'm glad I did it um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching kind of my uh, perspective of it and thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way through um, and as usual really appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so it helps this channel a ton there is some really really awesome adventures ahead i am starting a new series next episode will be a new series and the start of a new journey and that's all i'm gonna say so stay tuned looking forward to it and i will see you guys in the next video